Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is Brave's Rage, a roguelike deck builder with real-time combat that I'm excited to be checking out here today. The game has been out for a little while, but it is out now in 1.0. So let us pop on in and check it out. Uh, complete the tutorial before setting up. All right. Select the grid you want to move to, then click go. Your character will then proceed to move to that grid. And I'm assuming this is just the, the map and this is a... Yeah, okay. Play your hand. Once the action bar is full, select the character and give command by playing the cards in your hand. If the acting character can perform a combo attack, you can follow up by using your initial... Wait, follow up with your initial attack by clicking combo prompt on the eligible red cards in your hand. Okay. So we have armor. Gotcha. So we just click this here. And then... So I'm assuming that we just keep on going here for now and we are going to be drawing more all right i'm assuming it's going to get more complex than just hit the attack button uh very very soon we'll see insta block mouse over your hand to enter bullet time you'll notice that enemies are flashing in red before their attacks find the perfect timing to use your shield card to perform an insta block different characters have different insta block bonuses so if we hit it while they're glowing red we do some kind of special block. That is interesting. Feel free to adjust the speed of combat according to your own needs. You can always reset combat if things are not going well. Use space to pause the combat at any time. So do we use this and then like... I'm assuming as they... Oh, okay. So we were supposed to hit it as they glowed red there. Okay. Interesting already. The max move. Interesting and different already. Each character is good at one particular type of action, corresponding to the different colors of the cards. Red, green, yellow, blue, or gray. The acting character will gain a charge when the matching a color when the matching color is played. Once a character holds three charges, click the max button to unleash a powerful max move. You can find detailed description of their max move above the status bar at the bottom of the screen. The status bar. Above the status bar at the bottom of the screen. I mean, I'll take your word for it, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and just slot these in here. There we go. Perfect block. And I'm assuming we're waiting to draw another attack. Next card. It does tell us what's coming up here. Yeah, where does it? I mean, above the status bar at the bottom. Whatever. I'll just max move you. I'm sure we can find it somewhere, but... Oh, status bar. Oh, you need over here. Gotcha. With the experience points you acquired throughout the adventure, your character can learn more skills. Click the plus next to the HP bar to check your available skills. EXP needed one, two. Okay. Gain three reinforced armor per every fatigue card played. Okay. Welcome to the Tavern of Adventure! Grab a drink and recruit someone to join you. Different characters will bring different types of cards into your deck. You can drag the portrait of characters at the bottom to adjust their positions on the team. So what is my special? Consume all negative cards in your hand, if any, and inflict damage equal to 6 plus 4x the number of negative cards consumed to the target. So if we have a bunch of status effects or like negatives, curses or whatever, that's very good. Charge the bow for a second, then release a powerful shot. Flat shot. Inflicts eight damage to the target, and it will pierce through if they have no armor. Gotcha. All right. Prepare food, plus three. Costs one unit of food per grid traveled. When you're out of food, each character will lose two HP per grid traveled. Gotcha. So it's like a kind of a mechanic to limit exploring the full board switch between characters by pressing tab or sl simply clicking them to have different character play the cards in your hand oh my word so can you we'll want them to do it like this and then i'm assuming you're going to come up to attack my front line 
I guess we hold on, we wait. Wait for him to glow red. Red. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Then we swap up here, we even have our max. Not that we're gonna need it. Okay. Attempt to, please attempt to give commands to both characters. This is spicy. This could get this could get gnarly. Draw an extra card when entering combat. When the equipper takes it or inflicts more than 20 damage in a single blow, the target becomes airborne for 2.5 seconds. I'm going to go with the extra... Oh. Card. Adjust the equip gear by clicking the equipment slots under the status bar. I mean... I want it right there. Actually, no. I want it right there. And then what is our other passives here? Whenever you successfully perform an insta-block, gain a stack of rage. Rage increases the damage inflicted by one. Okay. And then it goes down. Able to follow up with two extra hits after using a red card to attack. I feel like I've... Yeah, I've missed the combo system. As I was trying to learn the basics. I feel like there's something I missed there. Attacks with an exclamation or that have extra effects on targets with no armor. Use a shield to block the attack or use a melee card or use a melee card to dodge at the right time. Oh, interesting. So melee will, I mean, I could put the block on you. Melee will make them move and it's kind of like targeting that slot specifically. Right? That is very interesting, but you are clearly not very good at the actual melee there. Cool. We've done it. One sec. All right, yeah, I just went back to the tutorial to figure out the combo system. It, it It's kind of what I thought. If you have two red cards in your hand, you can click them in a row if you are up there in, like, in combat. Uh, that, un that makes sense. That's what I thought. I just... Make your choice. Alter Ego? Sure. Extra initial cards. Doesn't look like we... It looks like we get all of them regardless, so let's grab them and then check our deck after. Short Sword. Well, first of all, what's our ability? Backstab. Extra damage to target when attacking from behind. Uh, three gray cards. Assault the target in the front row, dealing six damage, and then draw a card if it deals a killing blow. So the sword is straightforward. Shiv. Inflict four damage to the target hit. Extra one damage while backstabbing. Slowing shield. If you insta block, slow the blocked attacker for four seconds. Two stacks of weaken, two stacks of sunder armor. Okay. Pull the target, apply sunder armor. Add a fatigue card to your draw pile. Gotcha. Four damage. Get a fatigue card. If they become. If targets hit, become airborne. Wait. The target's hit become airborne for three seconds. Put four damage to the furthest target. Put a fatigue there. Okay, that's a lot of stuff going on there. Let's go for you first, I suppose. Let's see what's up here. If I can go for... A little bit of a... So I can't combo that. It won't let me combo this either. But I was able to get out of there, right? No. These are the ones that I could combo if I... Like, I could do it right now, right there, if he was going to be alive. But I'd have to time it right. Throwing knife. Two damage to the target hit. Automatically place this card in your hand when the target becomes airborne. Throwing knife will shoot forward toward the airborne target to flick double damage. I'm going to say no. Are there hotkeys? Like, can I... I'm not sure, actually. So this is the Sunder, which I do like. 
pulls the target over and applies Stack of Sunder. Interesting. Four damage to the furthest target. Let's go ahead and get ready on this shield here. You ready for the perfect block? Apply delayed? Sure. Just for a sec. Do we go for it? So that we can get our ability going? We have to get all the way back before we go for another attack. Understood. Perfect block. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got the combo. Gotcha. Interesting. So, like, the movement location is really relevant. Huh. Apply two stacks of weaken to all targets. I do like the idea of getting another thing that bumps up our ability. What is this? Astrology Chamber. Pay, pay up. We can make sure the stars align. Upgrade your cards or delete unwanted ones. Clear directions for all adventurers. So we have five meat, and I don't know exactly where we need to go. So let's move here first. We have 65 bucks. Select a card from your deck and increase its card value by two? Card value. Is that just like the like the, the damage? Or whatever's in red, maybe? Let's find out. Yeah, straight up. Just does indeed do a little bit more. But we can't do multiple. Ah, okay, okay. A random event. What could go wrong? Collect some berries, take them with you. Restore one HP per new grid explored, non-stackable. Remove a shield card from your deck. I don't think I want to do that right now. Okay, you bump into old John's ox. He stares at you sincerely, seeming to beg for his freedom. 30 coins or remove an unwanted card? That's an interesting question. There's like a lot of... It feels like there's a lot of fluff going on here. I don't know how to backstab yet. Like, oh, is it if I hit them while they're running away? Oh, that's actually really interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Pull the target, apply a stack of Sunder Armor. I really like that. This one I feel like I could say yes or no to. I feel like I could say the same kind of for uh, this short sword. Let's, let's maybe ditch those. Move things a little closer to our... Uh... Oh, increase of available uses by one. Pull the target. Two weaken, two sunder armor, draw a card. This seems like the best. What the hell? I have three meats. So let's start moving towards the boss, just in case. 15 health. Whenever a card is drawn to the player's hand due to the effect of a card, a skill, or a piece of equipment, all targets take two damage. Max move inflicts 50% more damage. Drink as much as you can. 20% uh, max HP for all your characters. Add a random negative. Oh, and add a random negative card to your deck. So we would have to heal, heal using the food. I'll move up. I'll move up. Okay. I'm drawing my defenses. I'm waiting. OK. 
Okay, and then we're going to wait just a sec. Move now. We don't want to be back there. Good. Let's think. We have Clamp Down coming as well. Get back to the beginning, then we can whoop. Oh, shoot. Maybe if we would have short-sorted quicker, we would have been fine. If I yank you, does that stop your ability? It does. Interesting. Interesting. So you can hit them really quickly while they're running back. Draw a card with limited number of uses and add plus one to its available uses. That seems really good. It also keeps our combo alive. One unit of food per grid traveled when you're out of food. So why do I have three still, then? Shouldn't it go down to two? Restore all health. Max HP goes down. Take a bottle of water from the abyss with you. Minus 15% HP, but 10 max HP? Sure. Did I get to do that twice? Curious? I'm not complaining as well, but like, yeah, my food is certainly staying the same at the moment. All right, uh, we have leap attack coming, so I think we're gonna go for the one, two, three. Oh, shoot. You ready? Am I getting hit by this? Wait, what are you doing? He's, that guy's just running away. Oh, no. I think it's like I pulled him. And that caused a problem or something. Wait, what? Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty neat. I think we can use the fatigue there. It doesn't really matter. Get out of my lobby. No, shoot. The fatigues, though. Come on. I mean, it makes sense. One of my cards is giving me the fatigue. What a slow claw that is. No me! No me! <laughs> Gain rage equal to the sum of all of the stacks of debuff currently on you. How many debuffs do I really frequently have on me? That seems niche. May or may not be. But yeah, typically we in games like this, you don't want to fight the boss until you are out of food or whatever. Okay, hold on. Maybe we go for like a... Oh, get him while he's running back. No. I'm going to get ready to dodge the range attack with the melee. Oh my god. That was fast. Smash. We have a shield. I kind of want to wait a sec. I mean, leap attack is another interesting way to do it. Oh, okay. So you can't... I can't combo that? And then knocking the guy up made it so I couldn't... Okay, alright. I just had to walk right underneath him. Oh, shit. Just have to block it. Alright, uh... Should be a kill. And this should be pretty easy. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I can't combo that. Oh, 
Huh. Uh, two stacks of Sunder Armor to all targets. It seems good. I'm afraid that I'm going to be taking too many things like that. One Fatigue, one Fatigue. I might want to get rid of Leap Attack. So Smash is an area of effect. It says to do six damage to the target hit, but it says area of effect. So I don't know, because I don't typically seem to be running up to hit them with that attack. It seems to kind of just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, I stand still, I use like a beam. So I don't know. I'm going to skip that one, I guess. Buy a lotto ticket? What could go wrong? Lost 30 coins. Winner. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was being... I thought it was joking. Okay. So, like, I can't combo that. I do have something that knocks them up, so... Okay, was that like some kind of a it was some kind of a buff? I think we, what we want to do is wait and then go for a like a combo there. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I didn't think that that would work. I thought that that seemed too uh, too good to be true. Sunder his armor and then pop him. Come on, man. Nothing we can do about this. We kind of just got to go for it. Oh, look, look at you slowly running back. Bye-bye. This is cool. Throwing knife. Okay, so, like, there is... I do see the world in which... Two damage to the target hit. Automatically place this card in your hand when the target becomes airborne. Throwing knife will shoot towards the airborne target and inflict double damage. Expend. Oh, okay. So, it's, like, it's kind of just, like... When you knock someone in the air, this will automatically play. And it does four damage. So, sure. Reveal the location of the springs, the vendors. Well. See, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's up with this, the food system yet. I'm at five, and I'm still at five. I like it. Like, it's working in my favor, but doesn't seem to be as penalizing as it sounds like it is. Mm. Mm. That was not good, but we just didn't have the defense stuff, so I don't know what to say. Knock him up. Theoretically, throw the knife automatically? No? Huh. Four damage and apply slow. I could, but I feel like I'm already lacking on, you know, a little bit more of our... Oh my god, four food to restore... This seems extreme, doesn't it? Like, I don't feel like I should do this. Ay, ay, ay. Fine. We'll see what happens. There's the minus four. When, when the food starts working 
as explained, cost one unit of food per food per grid traveled. Yeah. Then I'm going to be concerned. I feel like we have to have an unwanted card, and it's probably one of these, but I don't know which one. I think maybe the leap attack. I did use it to really good, like, defensive effect by dodging an attack with it. That did work really well. So maybe not. Maybe Enfeeble. Because I do have Clamp Down that already gives Weaken. Seven armor, insta block, slow them for four. Eh. Clamp down, clutch claw, pull them, apply uh, sunder armor, and add fatigue, and add fatigue. I really do like trick. Trick seems great because it it's, does a great job of stacking up our ability. Inflict two damage to the target hit, automatically placed if it... Yes. Throwing knife will shoot towards the airborne target and inflict double damage. So that's, that's not automatic. That part's not automatic. We have to actually do that. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, that was pretty cool looking. But ultimately, uh oh. I thought that maybe I could line it up to hit both. Double damage if backstab. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, get ready on the leap attack, maybe. Good. It, it totally does work. It's like a, it's a very spicy way of doing it. This does how much? Just four? I'll tell you what, let's just do the four then. And get ready on the leap attack to dodge an attack. Maybe we can dodge both? Oh, you're not. Okay. can stack that. God, we have to get all the way back to do the effect again. Hey. Oh, no. I thought I was going to get him in time. I thought I was going to get him in time. I mean, three of these guys is pretty gnarly. So we can just restart. Is this true that we can just restart this whenever? What the heck? That's so generous. I'm assuming that it draws the same stuff. Uh-oh. 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 See, like, am I wrong? Why wouldn't we just, like... Do we draw different stuff? So we want to wait until we get the shield, because then we go boom. We go for all of it, right? Yeah. It's more logical to do it that way. I do get the fatigue hit here anyways, or the hit because of fatigue here anyways. And then we logically, you want to shiv the first person. Just get them out of there. Clamp down. Sure thing. Weaken in Sunder Armor. But yeah, like, I'm trying to think right now, like, why wouldn't you kind of just, like... Ah, I was trying to greet a little bit. Definitely keep Leap Attack. Unless... They coming in for a charge or no? Hmm.
we are about to have the ability to so get ready. Jump. Okay, he's coming back, though. So let's use a defensive card in preemptively and actively. Which one do we want to shiv? We want to shiv the front one, which is that one. You know, wait, let's wait on the shiv. We'll shiv. And then if we're lucky, we can do that without moving. No, no dice. Okay. All right, you're not going for it. Then we will go for it. Clamp down, smash, wombo. Okay, here's the thing. You probably can. Part of me wants to go leap attack into it. Are you gonna move? You're gonna move in? No. I wish this comboed. Because that. That feels like it should combo. One extra damage to targets that have debuffs. Go wild. Okay, two meat. But I don't really know if I do actually only have two meat. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? So area of effect means they have to be pretty close to you. That's what that's what it means. So like I was able to hit those other fools. Gotcha. Because they just happen to be a little bit closer to me there. Cool. Worked fine. Four damage, apply two stacks of weakened. I could, but, like, there's not... I don't know. There's not a huge reason to go for a thick deck at the moment. Regular storage area. Hidden storage area. I'll admit I'm curious. Book of Skill EXP up. Draw a card every time you lose health. Apply Sunder Armor whenever you insta-block. That sounds really fun, but I don't have the EXP for it. I mean, I guess I'm just going to clear everything until, until I actually see my food move down. Okay, so we want to we wanna pull into a boom. Boom, backstab. Coming here. Yeah. Trick. Clamp. Smash. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Is this. <laughs> I'll take it. Fine. Is there a way to see what these cards are? Like, I I do think I know what they are. Because I think I have them all. Another smash is interesting. It gives us fatigue, but it is also very, very powerful. Does leap attack give fatigue? It does. It's also really good for dodging attacks, though. I'm going to take it just for the dodge purposes. It seems very good multi-use, you know? Yeah, if you're coming in, I'm going to have to go for this. You, 
can get back here. Is it Shiv backstab as well? Ah, he turned around in time. I don't know if it mattered. I'm waiting to use the throwing knife until I have a smash. There we go. Mm. That worked. Okay, so that was incredible. That's the dream way to use that, huh? You clearly have an ability that you can use at a certain point here. I'm going to assume you're going to maybe do, like, regenerate. Oh. Weird. You son of a gun got to run all the way back every time, huh? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's the thing. is That doesn't work on somebody who's too far away. No melee. No melee combo, I guess. It worked with that one guy. Stop trying to give me that card. I guess we get to do the full clear. Reduce your shuffle time by a second. Damage equal the number of cards in your draw pile after shuffling. Self-defense dagger. Crit dagger, forward to the target hit, double to win backstab. Um, four damage to the target hit, three stacks of reinforced armor if they are affected by a debuff. I mean, that seems nice. I don't have the money for any of that, though. This is the only thing I can do. And I don't really want it. Uh, what is that? A gigantic bear? No way we could take him? I... <laughs> okay. Oh, it's one of those? Uh... It's one of those. I thought that I'd actually get to fight an elite. Stop pointing at that. I know that I have one experience. I'm trying to save it for the other one. The cooler one. Okay. Let's go. That was dreamy. Absolutely dreamy. Uh-oh. And then that happened. Less dreamy. We do have a lot of fatigue after our big uh, our, our big wombo. Can't be upset, though. It was fun. So does Trick work here? I thought Trick was supposed to draw something for us. So it's a leap, and then... Okay. Okay, slime splits. What a surprise. Ow. I think we're going to need to get ready to... <sighs> get ready to leap. Expansion. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Go for the leap attack because he's actually in the back right now. And then we will go for... Let's see. Oh, God. Do I just have to take this hit? No! That is so suboptimal. I thought that I was going to hit this guy, but it, why did it hit the other one? Why did it hit the other guy, man? Oh, no. We're screwed. We're screwed now. Literally, that the fact that that hit the other guy. I guess we restart. Oh. I guess we restart. Ah. Th 
This is a it's a painful uh, situation for fatigue. Like, but that's I think that's the way to go for the beginning. We just need to like actually. <laughs> It's the fact that we hit the wrong target with our payoff card that was really painful there. Good. That was what I wanted. He's probably going to split now? Or is that one of his abilities? Draw a card with limited number of uses. So it has to be in our draw pile, I suppose. But like... I feel like I have had that situation happen. So if we do this right... Uh, did we just let this happen? No. Nah, not much we can do there. Gonna have to just take it. But then we can at least shiv. Okay. It's nice how the fight goes when the targets work how you wanted. You know? What happens if we... This doesn't work, does it? It does? I can leap attack him when he's close to me and it works? It's a pretty busted move. All things considered. Woo! Gear acquired. Launch a homing magic missile at all targets after entering combat. When equipped, inflict four damage to the blocked attacker after a successful insta block. Draw a card when entering combat. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll do this one. I guess, wait. I got the EXP, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy looks a little bit scarier than the other. Appears to have some good stuff inside. Terrifying foe. So how do I get another uh, party member? Arc shot. Damage to random targets. Huh. Oh. Dodge. Oh. Corrode. Reduce the card values of all shield cards in player's hand. I'm going to play it first then, I guess. So you're coming into melee. So I think what I do is I jump. And you go all the way out, huh? And I shiv you in the back. Oh, I thought maybe that would... Oh, it totally does bring me forward. I just was... It was just not properly timed. Uh-oh. It's too slow. Too slow. Much nastier. Much nastier fight. Uh, special effect. Apply a stack of weakened to all targets whenever a red card gets played. Expend. Once played. It... Is this just like a passive? Like a power? I'll grab it just in case. If that's true, that's incredible. Lots of leap attacks there. Oh my. Ah! The <laughs> cooldown! Holy timing! Ship might... Okay, I, di I didn't know. It, that, it just moves so slow. 
it's hard to process. Throwing knife won't work. Smash won't work either, actually. Unfortunately. Not a good fight. Smash, I needed something that would make me move forward. I don't have anything that makes me move forward. Just, you can kill me if you want. We're, it's about that time of the video where it's, where we're getting ready to, to schmoove. Okay. Guy wastes a lot of time running back and forth. Inflict four damage, apply two stacks of weakened. But the thing is, like, we stacked so much food that we can just, like... We can apparently just have a bountiful harvest, and it doesn't really matter. Should I go fight the, uh... Let, let's, let's let the grand finale here be the OP fight. The fight that clearly I'm supposed to save for, like, last... Oh, it's just two guys. In the other zone, it was much scarier. Um, I can pull him forward, then he has to waste a little bit of time. Okay, waiting on the throwing knife until I get him in the air. Don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. Let's just, four is enough. I'm assuming, okay, so you're going to be doing a, a gnarly little magic attack of some sort. So yeah, that does look like a passive. I think it's a power. Oh. It's like a screen wide thing. I needed to... Okay. It was not a thing to jump over. I needed to wait, and it was going to, like, slowly move. Is that what it was? Well, that sucks. It ate one of my, uh, my attacks there. Oh, my God. Come on. Let me combo that. Let me combo that, you jerk. Yeah, I mean, that was painful. Damage equal to the number of cards to draw pile. Equipper gets three reinforced armor after using a fatigue card. That actually seems really good for us. For our specific setup of it all. Alright, I'm, I'm having fun. Let's I, let's do another. I'm, I'm having fun. I like it. I like the... Uh, it, it feels different enough. There's like a little bit of jankitude still left here. Which is more noteworthy because it is in 1.0. The fact that there is the jankitude is more concerning. Just wanted to stall that a bit. You ready for the shiv? There we go. That, I, like, the backstab situation is really interesting. Alright, I'm, I'm super curious with this leap attack if I can dodge the big blast or not. Oh, Lord. It's... I mean, we'll, we'll see. Yes, I can. Okay, you totally just... You need to time it right is the thing. Was that, it counted as a perfect. I'll take it. Mm, short sword. Should be good. Pull you. Get ready to shiv as soon as you start walking away. There we go. Unfortunately, that will never do anything for us. We just, I guess we just leave the leap attack for a long time here and just kind of sweat for a while. You 
until the big blast shows up. I mean, we can keep on adding shield, I suppose. Oh, boy. No pressure. I guess we could just kill him, huh? And of course... <laughs> well, that was going to be the last one I did anyways. Of course, though. Of course, it, it got out in time. Four attack to the target. Uh, four damage to the target hit. Inflict seven extra damage if they're affected by a debuff. I mean, that's really, really good. Uh, but alas, alas, though, that is that, and that's going to do it here for today for Brave's Rage. It's a definitely neat and unique take on a roguelike deck builder. There's certainly, like, a little bit of clarity stuff here and there and a little bit of clunkiness uh, that is a bit rough. It makes some things feel a little bit slower than you would want, but the thing is, I think they can't really be that much faster because when you get other party members, that's going to be, like, kind of messy. But the thing is, I was running one party member the whole time here. And, like, as far as I'm aware, we didn't run into anywhere where I could find someone else. Chest vendors. I mean, let's see vendors. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe it's at an event. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But we never saw another, uh, another character. It could get really deep, really spicy, really wild. Um... But hey, I don't know. I really like it. I think it's a good time. It's something that I, I certainly would be uh, excited to play more of on my own time. But there's a link at the top of the description if you want to check it out for yourself. It is out in 1.0, which does mean what you see is probably what you get. Like, there is a chance that there's going to be updates, but it's really only a chance. It's not an early access thing at this point. Uh, and there are some certain polished things that I wish were in. But alas, alas, it's that. It's going to do it here for today. My name is Rashimation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty of roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. I will make sure you get to know all the great new releases that are coming out, all the new 1.0s, big updates for great roguelikes every single day. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.